Hello, my name is Moving Cat and welcome to part 2 of this guide on how to start a brand new world. You can find all the other parts of this guide in the written version or the video playlist linked in the description. So, in the previous part we set up our initial layout of the city. Now we need to wait for the next technology, which is construction. For this, your next goal is to get 5 forge points. Uh, I recommend waiting for two forge points only, uh, which will take around two hours from when you start the city, and then buy the remaining three forge points with coins. This will cost 900 coins, so while you wait, it's time to generate coins. The main way to get coins is to just keep on collecting on time as often as possible. The second way to generate coins is to fight on the continent map, Though between scouting costs and recruiting units, you won't actually make that much from this. Despite that though, I still recommend doing a bunch of fights now that you do have some downtime. Now if you want to see me fight all of the provinces, stay around until the end of the video where I will show me fighting all of them. But before I show that, I quickly want to talk through the reasoning for doing what I'm doing. So first of all, in the previous section, you took the first province and you probably already have or are in the process of scouting the next two provinces. Now, after you have scouted the first one, you should start taking that. Now, I'm using a combo of eight spare fighters. I have two spare fighter barracks at the moment, so I am able to generate four units or recruit four units uh, in each of those for eight in total. Now, something that will not be that clear in the section later on where I show all the fights is that between all fights, I let my units heal fully before I continue on to the next fight. This takes a couple of minutes each, but you do have plenty of time to get through these provinces, so you do have time to let your units heal. Right now, losing units, while not the end of the world, is a waste of uh, resources, so when you can avoid it, uh, let your units heal, uh, and if you do lose units, and you will lose some, uh, recruit those again. But don't needlessly uh, waste your units by fighting with unhealthy units. Now you'll also see that I manually fight all of these. Uh, some of these you can definitely auto-fight, uh, not all probably, uh, but I would still recommend fighting manually. It's something that you should know how to do uh, and it does save you some units which are especially helpful now. Later on, as you get stronger, you will do more and more auto fighting. That's natural, I do that as well. But this early on, I recommend more or less manually fighting all uh, fights you're doing. Now, in terms of the order of taking provinces, I recommend taking the second one here. Uh, I do recommend scouting number three, but not necessarily taking it yet. Uh, you don't actually need to take any sectors here. Uh, you can if you need resources, but you can also completely leave it uh, open. Uh, you don't really need the PvP tower. Uh, it's quite pointless at this stage. So don't focus on that. If you do need resources, you can take provinces uh, sectors here, but don't focus on it. So, after taking number two, I recommend going on to number four. Uh, and here you have two, uh, really three choices. You can either take the coins provinces and stop there, don't continue, because you will lose a few units taking the supply uh, sectors. If you do take the supply sectors, uh, or if you do take all the sectors of this province, you now have another choice. Either stay put for now, don't continue, or continue to the next province, number five, and take it. What you don't want to do is scout it and then leave it. So either don't scout it and don't take it, or scout and then take it. The reason for this is that scouting it costs 600 coins. You do get 800 back, but if you scout it and don't take those sectors that give coins, you will simply waste 600 coins for now. And that's quite a big deal this early on. Uh, so, Make your choice now, either leave it or scout it and then take, uh, I took all uh, sectors, but you only really need to take the two coin sectors for now. So yeah, if you do decide to take the full province, I do not recommend uh, continuing to scout right now. You will not be able to do much in the next provinces quite yet. You will be able to take some, but not all. So for now, 
you are more or less done on the continent map until you're able to get some Iron Age units. So again, I will show all of these fights in a moment, but before I do, I do want to point out one thing, and that is that at this point I also recommend, this is something that you can do while you are waiting for your units to heal, that is send out friend requests already. Uh, you don't actually have access to the friend list or the friend panel yet, but you can still add friends. And the way to do this is to go through the ranking list. So go to the ranking list, click on a person and send a friend request. Now exactly how to do this will depend on if this is a new world or an established world. If it is a new world, I recommend going to a bunch of the top players and sending requests to those. If this is an established world, I recommend going to uh, quite a few different parts of the list and sending out friend requests to a bunch of different players all over the spectrum when it comes to age and points. What I did myself was that I went to page number 50, sent out requests to those, went to page number 100, sent out requests to those, 150, and so on. Uh, exactly how you do it is up to you. Uh, if you are on an established world, I would only send out requests to players in a guild. This is usually a good indicator on if the person is active. If you are on a new world, uh, not many people will be in a guild yet. So here, you can simply send out requests to everybody, but mainly the top players. All right, and that's more or less it for this part. But as I promised, here are all the fights I did in this section. Enjoy, and I will be back towards the end of the video.
All right, that's it for this part. Hopefully you found it helpful. You can find all the other parts linked in the description through the playlist or the written guide. And with that, let me thank my Patreons before I end this video. I would like to thank Homestar, Fort Prefect, Lorden, Rocknobin, Kim Kaylee, Rolf the Eighth, PQ the Goat, Dan Simonad, JT, The Rev, Merrick P, Hugo Count von Count, Jan Fredriksen, Drew the Genovese, Filda, Rush, Susan Weiss, Megarock, Rocco, Eric, Henrik Narekleber, Mattia, Upshi the Obsessed, Rev, Kim, Adaril, Mike, Wolfboy, and Flavius Belisarius. Thanks a lot for watching, take care, and I will see you in the future.